to hear in the current mayoral campaign some people saying, wait, maybe we need to go back to stop and frisk. Maybe we, uh, you know, sort of bringing back up the conversation um, that was had during the 2007 campaign. And when that happened, we thought, you know, it's really important. It's we're not writing on a blank slate here. We have a lot of experience with this. People should know we did that. We tried that. Um, it was terribly harmful to the communities and it was did not bring the benefits it was intended to. And so uh, not everybody has spent 12 years looking at this data we have. Um, and so that was the point that when that question started being asked again, well, maybe we should just be stopping more people. We wanted to answer that question. And the answer to that question is that doesn't get you what you want. It does not get guns off the streets and it's very harmful to the community. Uh, and it's, and it, it creates um, opportunities for con for confrontations, for conflicts, for violence between members of the community and the police. Um, it's not a good strategy. And, and just because that conversation was coming up again in, in the context of this mayoral context, this mayoral campaign, we wanted to say, hey, you know, we've got a, we've got an answer to that question, actually. You know, no one says that the police shouldn't be there. We need them. It was just that the way that they go about approaching is not friendly at all. And um, it puts people in an awkward place, you know, very uncomfortable and scary even. Like they want to pump more into the community, but they fear. And the whole thing is we want to build trust and not fear with, especially with the police officers, because we want them to use their power at least the right way, make smarter stops instead of more. I mean, even though we do more stops, I mean, at least it, let them be more effective.